The following short well-known poem of Fyodor Tyutchev illustrates the main tendency when it comes to the view of rational thinking within Russian philosophy. You will not grasp her with your mind or cover with a common label, for Russia is one of a kind. Believe in her if you are able. Or, as it sounds in the original language, Umom Rasiu ne panyat, arshinam obshim ne izmirit, Unie asobena estat, Rasiu moshna toka virit. Russian philosophy through history shows an ambivalent relation to rationality. On one hand, philosophy as such presupposes the authority of rational thinking, otherwise the own reasoning would of course be meaningless, but on the other hand, there is a certain fundamental distrust towards rationality as last resource. Dostoevsky's question, merciful heavens, but what can I care for the laws of nature and arithmetic, when for some reason I dislike those laws and the fact that twice two makes four? Of course I cannot break through the wall by battering my head against it, if I really have not the strength to knock it down, but I'm not going to recon be reconciled to it because it's a stone wall and I have not the strength. It actually showed the relative role of pure reasoning in Russian philosophy. And as mentioned during the introduction, the great Russian philosopher Simeon Frank, by the way, Edmund Husserl's uh, contemporary friend, introduced the concept trans-rationality, embracing not only rationality, but also irrationality and all positive possible nuances of reasoning, perception, intuition, feeling, etc. And once again, we are here in this context, actually closer to Indian wisdom than to other branches of Western philosophy, where you seldom find this kind of introspective perspective of mental capabilities from a cognit cognitive point of view. And not only Dostoevsky, but many other Russian thinkers were very critical towards Western rationalism, finding it unhuman or even unworthy in relation to human existence. For example, Leo Shestov claiming that a belief or philosophy, and here one should keep in mind that there is often no clear border between uh, these two concepts in, in Russian philosophical tradition. That is not able to make the done undone would be of new use. In this concept, many Russian philosophers are surprisingly close to American pragmatism, especially the original one presented by Vilja and James, and also to Kierkegaard's existentialism, which are uh, all rooted in a fundamental question about human existence. There are further significant similarities with Nietzsche's nihilistic approach to the base of knowledge and truth, but at the same time the general ambivalence regarding rationality, however, creates a rich var variety of different directions within Russian philosophy, striving to define certain fields of being and existence, including the word being and existence as such, a subject for absolute meaning.